You've probably heard the news, it's a hot topic. The 2022 federal budget review has been announced and there's lots to talk about. So we're gonna break it down and help you understand how it will affect the housing market for buyers and sellers here in Canada and Ottawa specifically. Let's talk about it. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Andre with The Metal Group and if you're finding value in these types of video, please consider subscribing as it really helps the algorithm. If you'd like to book a buyer consultation or a seller consultation or simply chat about real estate, there's a link in the description below. So there's been a lot of things happening in the market for the start of 2022, including inflation and interest rates. I'll link a recent video up top. And now we have the federal budget for 2022 with a strong emphasis on housing and with good reason. Here are my top takeaways what this all means for real estate. All right, let's start with a ban on foreign buyers. Justin Trudeau's government announced it will ban all foreign investors from buying homes in Canada for two years in a bid to cool off a hot housing market and there have been some mixed reactions on this. Now these rules do have exceptions including students and refugees among others, but the main question right now is will this ban actually make a difference? There is already a government tax throughout the country for foreign buyers from 15% to a recent hike here in Ontario to 20%, but now the decision is to flat out ban all foreigners buying property. In theory, this makes sense, right? Limit real estate to people that live in the country and can vote. But will this help first time home buyers and help Canadians get a home? Will this plan actually cut down the price of homes? Maybe the bigger question is how much percent of the real estate market do foreign buyers actually control, especially in a city like Ottawa? It's 5%, is that enough to cool down the prices of homes across the board? I guess we'll have to wait and see as it's still too early to tell. And don't forget that this ban is for everyone, including our partners in the US. We should be thinking about if they will counter back with a ban of their own. Don't forget how much real estate Canadians actually buy down there. Here we have the proposal for the Home Buyers Bill of Rights. And this will be the process for buying a home that is fair, open, and transparent. It's gonna include things like banning blind bidding, which kind of prevents the bidders from knowing the bids of other prospective buyers. And this, of course, has been a hot topic for many years in the auto real estate market. Uh, establishing a legal right to a home inspection, I think that's very fair. You know, everybody wants the peace of mind that their investment is sound. Ensuring total transparency in the history of recent house sale prices on title searches. Um, recurring real estate agents to disclose to all participants and transactions when they are involved in both sides of potential sales, also known as multiple representation. Um, and of course, moving forward with a publicly accessible beneficial ownership registry. Now, there's a couple other things, including mortgage deferrals um, and uh, requiring mortgage lenders to act in your best interest. I'm not qualified to talk about that, so I'm going to skip that part. But essentially, the big highlight here is the banning of blind bidding. Now, I am all for transparency for both sides as I represent both buyers and sellers, but again, the question becomes, will this actually change the pricing for homes? We've seen new models here in Ottawa real estate market and that have adopted this approach and in countries like Australia and the feedback has been mixed, but has it actually made prices lower? And I personally don't think this will solve anything overnight. Next, we have the Canada wide anti flipping tax, and this is targeted specifically for homeowners who sell a principal residence that they've held for less than 12 months and it would be taxed as business income. What you need to understand with this proposal is that you're essentially holding potential inventory for an extra year before being able to sell on the already limited inventory market. Yes, it would give owners less competition as the investors would be pushed out but I'm going back to supply and demand as the main fundamental economic factor for any real estate market. We also have a tax on assignment sales and this mostly applies to the pre-construction side, which is just housing that hasn't been construction or occupied yet. Essentially, consumers purchase a home and then sell it before taking possession, hoping to make a quick buck. Well, now there will be GST and PST on top of that as well. So everything that we've been talking about so far is either some sort of a ban or tax, but what about actually money to help stimulate or accelerate the housing market process? There's also something called the Housing Accelerated Fund, and essentially this will grow the annual housing supply in the country's largest cities every year. Um, now, they're saying up to 100,000 new homes, new middle-class homes by 2024, 2025, um, and we'll see, but what essentially it's doing, it's accelerating the process to have these homes built. It's a lengthy process and it, you know, it includes uh, bylaws and, and zoning and uh, permits. So they are going to speed up this process so that the builders can build faster. 
Also have support for first time home buyers. And this is a tax free first home savings account that would give first time home buyers the ability to save up to $40,000. And just like RSPs, these contributions would be tax deductible. Now, to be completely honest, I actually think this is a good thing. First time home buyers have the hardest time getting into the market. And this, in my opinion, will actually help them as in a market like Ottawa, $40,000 goes a long way and can definitely help. It's no secret that to get into the market, you need a solid deposit and a lot of people struggle with that. Those were the main points that I wanted to highlight from the budget that affects real estate, both in Canada and in Ottawa. What are your thoughts? Will these proposals actually make a difference? Will they help balance the market a bit and help first time home buyers? Leave your comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.